welcome uh, Breeze and Mike Jones. Um, welcome Gusawa. The Langwat Luan Kingsesh, the Good Night Logan. I'm happy to see all you guys. Oh, um, okay, yeah, there you are, Gusawa. Uh, 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 how'd you teach us? Kila, Doc Juice. Is that how you taught us last week to say hello? On kilt law. How uh? How uh? Uh, done. Can you say be good in our log? And it's good to see you. I see you're traveling to get in your car. I am. I will be for some time now. It just works that way with both our jobs. Um, but I wouldn't miss it, Duck Juice. I'm very grateful to be with family and hear teachings and everything you do. Um, I, my heart's out there for you. Thank you so much for your everything you do. How, uh, Gusawa, pleasure to have you here in class. Welcome, Ka'il Juice, uh, Huya Tlakiya, uh, Govan Tiban, um, Janessa, Welcome, everyone. Okay. Um, there's something in the chat. Oh, yeah. Who yet Klakia says, Kitla. Itla, huya tlakia, ha'a. Kusho hana. Ang. Um, will you do me a favor and watch the participants and let, um, um, let them in? Uh, I just been clicking on allow to talk and that brings them in. Um, I, I, as, I, as they're coming into the uh, attendee space, I'm, I'm clicking them in to come into the panelist room. Okay, got it. How are you doing? Uh, okay, so how are uh, for that kitchen? Um, never mind, Kushan Ohana. <laughs> um, Okay, so if anyone, if everyone could please stand. We open every class with the Haida Nation Anthem. Can everyone see the words on the screen? Yes, we can. Okay. So um, sing along if you want to. Yo ho we, yo ho we, yo we, hey ha yo ho we, ha we ya we ya, hey ha yo ha we, ha we ya ha, ha we ya we ya, yo ho we, yo ho we yo.
Thank you, everyone. Uh, before we get started on introductions and um, and greetings and response, I think we will bring up um, da, 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 in Google Docs, we have a document and it's an outline of um, Haida introduction. So um, you just fill in the blanks with your um, names and clan, house and crest and so on. So um, in my Haida introduction, excuse me, I start with Dasa. It's a formal Haida greeting. It was um, recorded in Seattle. Um, and Carta recorded Lillian Edenso Petfield. And this was um, the formal greeting that she used. So I like to, um, to keep it going so we don't lose it. So, but that's um, the note here says optional, totally optional, but we should try to keep this formal greeting. Um, and then the next part is very traditional. Parala isis, atlin and ash de gudinai lagan. Good people, I am happy to be here. Um, after those traditional phrases, you could go into um, more pleasantries, such as Dalan Age and the Hangalgang. I'm honored with your folks' presence. You could also add Dalan Wad Luan, King's Age, the Gudinai, Lagan. I'm happy to see all you guys. Um, you could add that as well. So after um, the traditional opening of your uh, introduction or speech, um, then you go into more pleasantries and then you do your maternal line. So, um, you would put your grandmother in the first spot um, and then say Dinanu Ejin if uh, your non is uh, still with us. For instance, mine um, is past and her name was Jenny Carl. So I would say Jenny Carl Dinanu Ejin, um, meaning she is no longer with us. Ejen is present, Ejen is past. Um, and next we say our mother's father. Um, so you insert the name of your mother's father and say Dichinu Ejen if they are still with us. If they have passed, you would say Dichinu Ejen. And this is because we're matrilineal, so it's the mother's side. Um, and since my mom is white and my dad's Haida, I actually just introduced my dad's side. Some people um, do both. It really um, just depends on how much time and effort you want to put into it. Um, yes, um, you could do um, your father's side as well. Um, next up, um, we would um, we would mention our our mother. Um, our we would mention who our mother is. Um, so mine, my mother was Ethel Carl Yates. So I could say Ethel Carl Yates the Ao Ujin. Um, my mother was Ethel Carl Yates. If um, your mother's still with us, you would say her name and D. Al 
in Egypt. Um, next up is our father and the males say duhu and the females say he hot. Um, and then again, we would use Ejun if um, your father is still with us. Um, mine has passed. So I would say Ralph Texiates Dihun U Ejun. Uh, so after after we do our 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 families, we could do our father's side. Um, we could mention children, grandchildren, siblings. However, um, you'd like to do that after you after we're done introducing our family lineage. Um, then we go into our tribes and ethnicities. Um, if we're just gonna say, I am Haida, then we could just say, Di U Hatagan. But um, I have also Quinka and Simpson lines, so um, I could mention three tribes. And when we when it's multiple, we say the gun for the last tribe or ethnicity that we're mentioning and it makes it a full sentence. That's so, true. so it should be Diu Hatas, Iskan Shlinga Das, Iskan Kildagan. So each additional one needs the S on the end. Oh, that's right. On how F. Oh, so like uh, uh, sometimes I say do you juice the skin hatagen I'm Jewish and Haida from my mom's side. It's all coming back to me. Oh <laughs> yeah, how uh yes, um uh uh Shohana uh Yankee and Udang Sugan, you said it right, I totally agree. Um Sometimes I forget to add the S um, that um, in this case, it means we're, we're adding on. Um, so for me to say three tribes, I could say the Uhatas is can Klingadas is can Kiladagan. Um, I am Haida and Clinket and Simpson. Um, and if you want to add more, you just keep uh, adding Iskian in between the tribes and ethnicities. And as Kuntlohana pointed out, um, we add a S to the end of each tribe or ethnicity until we get to the last one. Um, and then we end it with gun. Um, and that makes it a full complete sentence. Any other questions on a Haida introduction so far or statements? I do. I forget how to say sister. Um we say yes. um, um uh, what? Joss. I missed it. You both spoke. Joss, so, how, uh, Joss it is a, ma a man's sister, the sister of a male. So Ja is wife. And then to make it your sister, you add an S. Uh, how, uh, I can see to remember that. How, uh, think, how, uh, couldn't tell, huh? How, uh, is in Oh, and in the chat, Hune was wondering if he could get a template of this. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can mail it out. And my other one is usually after we say our parents, we say our name. Oh, I skipped that, didn't I? I was, I was thinking you made it pretty quickly, probably. <laughs> oh, and I was in a rush. <laughs> um, 
and your wife is working for you in the chat. She says, Hune is going to, it's going to be $10 for that intro sheet for Hune. <laughs> How are Lisa? <laughs> Um, my goodness. Um, okay. He knew he Yeah. <laughs> um, my brain. My brain froze. <laughs> um, Were you going to add your name somewhere? I think um, I think Kilhana was suggesting that. Maybe is that correct? On. So it's right after you would introduce your parents and your dad, and right before you'd introduce your ethnicity generally, and you'd say your name. Yeah, so I have Blank Hino Di Kiang after uh, introducing my parents and before going into uh, tribes and ethnicities. Um, and then uh, also with these, um, you could introduce, um, like you could introduce your non sida name. Um, your chinese if you had one, mine in particular didn't. Um, when I do my height introduction, after introducing my grandmother, I um, I go into her height names. She had two of them. And um, then after I introduce my mother, I introduce her height name. Uh, after we introduced my dad, I introduced his Haida name. He was adopted by Aunt Clara Natcom at mom and dad's 50th wedding anniversary. And a lot of Haida elders were there. Um, and um, some of the Haida elders that were there, um, mom and dad got married in 1936. And mom's cousins from Heidelberg came up by boat and um, um, it was a boat full of Heide men. Um, it was Heidelberg brass band and all of them were mom's cousins except for one. And they were playing, um, I saw the harbor lights. And, and mom and dad didn't have a song until then. And that song was so beautiful, carried across the water. Um, Uncle Miju was one of them. Uh, Uncle Simon Nat Kong, Uncle Robert Nat Kong, Uncle Wesley Morrison. Um, I can't think of the others, but anyways, um, so um, some of the uh, men from the Heidelberg Brass Band uh, that came up for mom and dad's wedding in 1936 were at the uh, 50 year wedding anniversary for, for mom and dad at the Hideaway Lodge. So it was so great to see um, the Haida elders there from Heidelberg. Um, and so I um, so I introduced my dad's Haida name, uh, Taz, oh gosh, um, meaning bright, shiny copper shield. That's the name Aunt Claire Natcom gave him. Um, then after I introduce myself, I I state my two hiding names, and then I go into ethnicity or ethnicities, depending on how many I want to do. Um, da, da, da. 
Okay, so let me, um, well, let's finish first. If there's any, after I'm done with corrections and additions, then I'll put this in the PDF format and anyone who wants it can have it. All the um, curriculum on here, um, anyone can have, it's meant to be shared. And I don't um, attach a name to any of my curriculum. Like, and I'll say, this is my curriculum and you have to ask permission or anything like that. I don't put my name on any of my stuff. It's just um, for all of us to, to share. Um, so after our ethnicity comes our moiety. I'm Raven, so I would say Gayalas Gustudi Kualagan. I am from the Raven Moiti. Another way they translated it was um, I'm from the Raven side. Um, and then this next one I don't normally use because there are so many different ways for me to say what my clan is. Uh, I, in fact, have never used this one. But, um, but to state your clan, it would go uh, here, and then you would say Udi Ijen. Um, my, my clan is such and such. Mine is uh, Yaklanus. So I could say Yaklanus Udi Ijen. Um, I, but I use other other phrases. I I say things like the U Yuk Lingagan. I'm a man of the Yuklanus clan. Um, and then there was some great um, references and Swanton's um, contribution to the ethnology of the Haida and. Um, so um, he had a powerful statement in there, and it was um, Yuklanis um, Nes uh, Hatai um, Udi Ijin. Um, I'm from the, I'm a Yuklanis Haida of the Dr. Shark House of Dodens. House in um, Suda, teacher. House in Suda. On um, Yuklanas, or you could uh, substitute um, uh, Yuk Yukjanas. Um, Yuklanas, uh, uh, Ness. Uh, Ness is the old school way of saying house, and we spell it N E I S. And it's really old school. Nowadays, um, we would say nigh um, or nos. Um, but um, Nani Saldi Morrison recorded our the name of our longhouse in Haukan as, um, and thank goodness she did because it wasn't recorded when Swanton and others came through, but uh, um, Stone Ness is our was the name of our longhouse in Haukan, meaning two houses. But back to um, I'm a um, Yuklana side of the Dogfish Shark House of Dadens. That is Yuklana's uh, Ness got. Um, Dogfish Shark Ness House Hatai um, Haida um, Udi Ijin. So um, that's uh, I am a Yaklanus Haida of the Dogfish Shark House of Dodens. Um, I know normally we think of the us Alaskans think of the dogfish shark house in Klinkwan, but before we migrated, it came out of Dodens. So 
it's really old school, but it's so powerful, eh? Um, and there's other ways as well. Um, after we state our clan, um, then uh, we could state our house. Um, this is not optional, not, not everyone does it. Um, for instance, I wouldn't do it because I would have already, excuse me, I would have already stated that I'm in the doc, of the Dr. Shark House of Dodden's. Um, um, got ill juice. Um, I watched a video of your Grandma Helen and, um, and um and she says we got the um uh sun seal cluston hasi oh um, gosh um devil fin killer well fresh mm -hmm. um out of the village of uh Kui Anklas. Um, oh. And then our brown bear house is from Klinkwan. Um, um. There was a man in Klinkwan um, who wanted to go look um, for a beautiful setting to start an, another Haida village. And so he, he took off in search uh, of a beautiful site, nice beach with um, fresh running water nearby. And, um, and so he went looking to, for a new village site, but he never returned. And, um, and uh, so, um, his clan got really worried and they went to the Shaga, the spirit man, knowing that um, he could foresee events. And, um, and so they went to the Shaga, asked him, do, do you know where the man of our clan is that set out to find a new village site? And, um, the saga said, "On, oh, I know where he is. And the clan people said, will you take us to him? And again, the saga said, "On." Oh. So um, they went south down to um, Cape Shack and, and there on the beach, they saw what looked like uh, a brown bear sitting down but um, it was in rock formation. And they were convinced that um, that was the man from their clan that went missing and he got turned into um, a brown bear and turned into stone. And from that very moment, um, we took that as our house. So, um, so we do have two houses, us, um, Hoots Nests or Hoots Nai, Iskian uh, Nests or Kat Nai, Brown Bear House and Dogfish Shark House. Um, and Kale Juice would love to see that video if you have a chance. Or oh. know where you found it. Because of course she wants to see her family speak. And out of all these lines, you don't have to use all of them for your introduction. Like Duck Juice was saying, he only uses some of them. So you can pick and choose what you want to use for your personal introduction. You don't feel like this is like, you know, set in stone and it has to be like this. Um. 
you know, who log ins for Sohana. Mm -hmm. um, but if you do want to mention your house, you put your uh, the name of your house, and then you would add SD to it. SD means from. So if I said, um, Hoots Nice, Hoots Ejim, that means I am from the Brown Bear House. Um, if I say, uh, Yaklana's, um, Hoots Nest Hatai, Udi Ejin. Um, and what I'm really saying is, uh, I am a Yaklana Sida of the Brown Bear House of Klinkwan. Um, just want to throw that out there. Um, your clan crest or crest go here. There are different words for crest, but we use Hasi because it means our own personal crest. We're not talking about anybody else's crest, but our own. Um, so if I say Sean, Tzil, Klas Dunk, Hasi Udi Ejin, I'm saying um, um, Double Fin Killer Whale is my crest. Um, if you want to name numerous crests, you could do so. Just put Iskien in between the crests and end with Hasi Udi Ejin. Um, and the great um, thing is, if you only know one of these pieces, you could start off with a smaller introduction. And then as you learn more, you can just keep adding to it and make your introduction longer and longer. Um, um, I once got uh, assessed by uh, Kuyang and, it, and the, during the his assessment, he said, give me um, the longest Haida introduction of your life. And boy, did I lay it on thick. I made a, a really long introduction, um, especially since I have 16 siblings. So I made it pretty lengthy. <laughs> um, and I rattled off a ton of crafts. I made it as long as I possibly could. Uh, so yeah, um, please, if, if you're new to high day introduction, uh, please start off small. Um, you may um, you may even want to go uh, so small as to say the very traditional opening. Hadala isis atlan anas digudinai lagan, and then just state your name. Brab yates hinudikian. How about you? So I just said, good people, I'm happy to be here. My, na my name is Rob Yates. Thank you, everyone. So um, it could be real, your Haida introduction could be really short. Um, and like uh, Coach Hanna says, uh, you could build on it. And as, and as you grow in your language journey, um, please keep adding as you are comfortable, but don't overwhelm yourself. Um, that's that's not what we're trying to do here, but we are um, trying to give you the tools um, for when you are comfortable to add more. Um, towards the end of your um, Haida introduction, you wanna state where you're from. So I gave an example, Ausgleis Uth Ejen, I am from Prague. Um, Ausgleis means where the herring eggs spawn, and SD means from. So I have to attach SD to the end of Ausgleis. Ausgleis Uth Ejen, I am from Prague. Um, and then uh, next you would state where you live. Um, when I lived in Oregon, 
I just said organ et ut nagen. Um, uh, right now I'm in Juno. The height of word for Juno is really lengthy because we took the um, Klinka name for Starry Flounder Creek and hydized it. So, so still Trugwang Huntlai Ech Ulf Nagen. That means I live in Juno. Um, and then towards the very end, you could um, put where you work at. Um, I could say Klinken and Haida Auf Klangulang. I work at um, Klinken Haida. Or we could put it in. das is gern hatash auf Klangulang. You work at home with Plagas? <laughs> um, Ulagan. Um, and um, at the very end of our Haida introduction and with Hawa, but technically, if you're saying your Haida introduction to more than one person, then it would be Hawa U, um, which is plural. Any questions or statements? And then what a lot of learners say towards the end also is hot kill skatong. I'm a Haida language learner. Um, how? Uh, I came up with that sentence, I don't know, about seven years ago and attached it to mine and everyone liked it. So I like that it's been spreading around. Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just, um, uh, thank you for sharing that document with everybody. I think that's really awesome. Um, um, I wanted to share that one of the things we're thinking about that maybe down the line later, because you're just starting, this is so awesome, that we're going to try to be able to use our language in ceremony. And you would never, as you all know, you would never get up and say, hey, I'm Kailjus, no way. You would never say that. You would introduce others. So what we're gonna try to get prepared and practiced, maybe down the road for your group, because I think you could do it really, is to introduce, like I would introduce you and then go through the main thing. And the reason being, because what you're learning right now is going to be so helpful. The reason being, when you have your event, you're able to introduce your invited guests as they come in. Just wanted to share that. That was something that um, Ilsk Alice kind of shared with us. And uh, as always, like you, Dr. Deuce, I like to share what I'm learning. And so um, thank you. What you've provided us today with is amazing. Hawa. Latin Sarskustangang. Well, uh, yeah, um, at some point, um, uh, Ildjus is, is right. Um, uh, it's better if uh, someone else introduces us, then we're not, um, then we're not bragging. Um, so um, it's more, it's more, uh, polite and more correct. Um, so how I'm mentioning that uh, ill juice. Um, so um, any other questions or statements on Haida intro? Oh, I had a question. So both my non and my mom passed. So I wouldn't say Sarah Peel Nanu Ejin. What would I say? Um, if your non has passed, you would say um, 
her name and then you would say Dinan Ujin. You would okay. uh, drop the G at the end and you would say Ujin um, okay. to show that they have passed. When they're still with us, we have to say Ujin. There's a huge difference between uh, the two. Um, when I was, uh, many years ago, when I was practicing um, speaking Haida, I would, um, I would, I didn't, I was naive and I didn't know any better about, I didn't know about present tense and past tense. And so, um, so like instead of saying, um, the good in I, Lagan, I am happy, I would say, the good in I, Lagan. And um, there's a big difference, um, um, especially. <laughs> If I'm addressing um, if I'm addressing people and and I forget the G at the end, like in um Atlan Anashti Gudinai Lagan, I I purposely pronounced that wrong. I use the uh, past tense form. And um, and then people would tell me. It sounds like you're speaking to dead people because you're not speaking in the present tense, and um, and so it it took me a little while to realize um, the difference between past tense and present tense, but the difference is huge um yeah <laughs> and then Hune had a question Hune had a question in the chat about um introducing other people to change my to their would be changed to hull and that is very complicated but in this situation yes it would so um like let's say uh Hex Yates, Ho Hung U E Jin. His dad was Tex Yates. How? Uh, and then you have to pick the right. That's a gender term, though, right? So you gotta pick the right. Ong. Okay. How? Uh. And then, who uh, ya Your question, please. Hi, everybody. I have a question about the clan crest sentence um, where you end with Hasi uh, Udi Ijeng. I have it written down in my original introduction as D Hasi Ujin. So the D got moved around. So I wasn't sure about if I just have had it wrong this whole time. Um, I don't, I think it could be said either way. Um, I've seen it um, both ways. So, um, but this, this way, um, Hasi U, the U is bringing attention to the word before it. So it's bringing attention to um, your own clan crest. Um, but the other way is um, correct too. Um, I used to um, I used to say it. I used to say it in an incomplete sentence. I used to say. Um, how did I used to say it? I said it in front of um, uh, Liang when I got assessed and he knew what I was saying. 
and he didn't correct me. Um, oh, I just used to say, I would state my clan crest and say, um, Udi Hasi. Um, so I believe all the, the variations um, that I've seen and heard so far are um, are correct. It's hard to um, it's hard to mess this up. The the only way we really could mess it up, well, not the only way, but one way I could think of is if um, is in the pronunciation. Is it if, if we said Hasi Udi Ejin, then we would be saying my clan crest was. Um, that would be a big no-no. Um, <laughs> the way you have it is fine. Who you are, Klekia? How are? How are, <laughs> how are Duck Juice? Um, how are for your question? That's a good question. Um, so I there's a few variables in um, this statement when we're mentioning our clan crest. So there's flexibility there to be sure. And uh, ill Jews, I really hope I find the video of your grandma, Helen. Um, it was from um, um, Celebration 1982. And, um, and she was, um, at the mic speaking, and um, and uh, I really love what um, she had to say, and um, and it was a big eye opener. It because then I realized what village our Doublefin Killowell Crest comes from. So I stumbled upon it on Facebook. You know, when you look at a video and then below that video are other videos. And that's how I stumbled upon the video of your grandma, Helen. Um, so if I find it again, um, I will send it to you. I'm also thinking I could perhaps find it if I go to uh, YouTube and then go to SHI. I might find it that way. Um, but anyways, it's from Celebration 1982. Um, and it's so good to um, see the elders and to hear them speak. Um, OK, um, I think it's time for, gosh, we only have 12 minutes left. Um, uh, Kunkilhana, did you want to um, practice uh, your Haida introduction? And then we'll see if others want to. Sure. Edi, Eti Dasa, the Langhata La is Auckland Ish Ish D. Good night, login. Bani Eden Cha di Nanu Ejin, Bird Eden Cha di Chinu Ejin, Nancy Weiser di Ao Ejin, Robert Eden Cha di Chinu Ejin, Emily Eden Cha Chapin, Kun Sohana, Hinu di Kiam, Pagas Kuya Eden Cha, Hinu di Get Ishlanash Kiam, Diuk East Hatagen, Oh, to die Shahunogen. So total gone hand like eight ush nagin, hit the hand like two eaten. The one and still like our yagin. Thank you very much. Good again. Now, uh, Kunshil Hana, um, I'm going to bypass my introduction, which um, I've done a few times because of uh, we're running out of time. And Kunkohan, I have a long 
uh, scripted conversation to do. But would anyone else like to practice their um, Haida intro? Um, I could try. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm at work right now. Scal, Panu Dikian, Sarah Peel, Nan Ui Chin, uh, Hatley Mok, uh, Ao Ui Chin, and I forgot how to say father, Reggie Nathan. Dihat. Dihat Ui E Jung, and I'm Raven Clan. Is that, I forgot how to say that too. Uh, that's a long one. We'll save that for another time. Oh, you, there is a short way. You could say um, D Yalagan. That means I'm Raven. Yalagan. Uh, okay. Oh, and then I also just want to say that um, Lu Am Goldu, uh, Dr. Juice, I'm very proud of you for teaching um, how to kill. My heart is happy to learn to learn with you, and you teach really loving and. I'm happy to see um, all the, the ladies I went to grad school with um, who helped me through grad school. So, Jahawa to you all for keeping the language going. How, uh, Gobin Cuban, how for your kind words. Always good to see you and hear you. Anyone else have a hi to intro? I'll give it a try. I some of these are new to me. Kitidasa, uh, uh, House and Suda teacher. Ki, ki. Um, yeah, loaded cape in the back of the throat. Kitidasa. Kitidasa Hadalais. Hmm. Dap juice. Tit. What do you teacher? La in South Kutangan. La in South. I am. La in South Kutangan. I think so highly of you. How ah. Um. Helen Sanderson Dinan Uijan. Ah. What do Kail juice? Ah. Ah. Dinan Uijan. Um. Ed Sanderson Dichin Uijan. Um. What do ah. Cogni. Uijum. Uh Carolyn Sanderson, the Ao Uijum. Um Osh Lang, the Had Uijin. Um Kail Juice, Hinu Di Kian. Um Di U Hat Hat is can uh Lingadas is can kill dagan. Uh Wadu chop suey. Do you hatagan? Trying to follow your format, love. Ayalas usu di alagan. Yaglanas u di ijang. Do you yakjanas? Kadnest. Kadnest. Wadu. Nest. Kadnest. U ijang. Uh, Yaklanas, uh, put nest, u ijang, what do nest, u ijang? Um, um, uh, hikta handleis tooth ijang, um, hikta handleis eight tooth nangang. How a teacher, how a la in such good danga. Well, uh, it'll just be logging. Okay, at this time, I think um, since we're almost out of time, um, oh, goodbye, Gobin Kiban, House Dunk King Song, the Monogun King. House Dunk um, King Song. Uh, Kunshal Hana and I are going to do a scripted uh, conversation. Um, and I think I need to hit screen share really quick. That would help.
Okay, so. Um, and so Hannah, can you see? I'm okay. On the hiski. Okay, so um, uh, hot juice, um, which translates to little deer. Um, she knocks on the door, and um, and she's played by uh, Hana and Huya Iwas, which means big raven in old Haida, played by me. And I got so tired of typing that I just. After a while, I just put our initials, but please keep in mind that KJ equals uh, hot juice, our little deer, and that um, XI equals Huya Ewants, our big raven. So, um, so I hear uh, hot juice knock at the door, and uh, I say, Huai Nung. Scatgan, these two Egyptian. Flow Egyptian, Kwai Hasla. Ah, and the a Kunt Wasan. Um, Kwai the Hasplan, the door opens. Uh, Tut Squeak. Sanai la di tau las di kuidung. Sanai la di tui sabli iskian gravy guy ush kugagan. Ak dang stasla. Jaan tau di stasang kudla. Dang. Gusu just legan. Gusu dang suda. Sits kai suda. Waha. At jadia clan gusu. A wan di quidung. Jaan. Handi unsitan, tawai hiskigan, atlan antalan tuwan san. Um, au a tawai ijen dak a katu us. Ang di u katu gen, ang kudi gudang gen. Ya ang au hand. Ejen. How a digwan? Mmm, how I a skit la awia again? Decent has la a lagen. How I unkilt lagen. How I has the good in I lagen. How I digu lagen. Good dog, Slan Slan Pagan. Yankee and you done Sugan. In Lao Egen, Gata Hyagan. Hing on H. Ash H. Ush Wagan. Ajit Awaj A. Hujugan. Why at the Skish Awiagan? Decent gets flung. Each guy blends on. On a kushwa. Gusu dung suda. Don't be good at them. Ginla sent is done. Is can who who la dance kidangan? 
Atla Yandashla. Hakushwagen, Jandogan, Asanguistu, Utlan, um, and we're out of time, but normally we do, um, we follow up with the English translation, but I think you all saw the English translation. So, Tried to act out the attitude. Um, <laughs> um, how are you, um, Dylan Wadluan, uh, King Song, uh, thank you everyone. Um, House uh, Dylan King Song, I'll see you guys again. Um, Sun, uh, Sun Swanson, Dylan uh, King Song, I will see you guys again Monday. How are you? Demonaganz King. Oh, 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 oh. King. How are everybody? We got the, your emails for those who shared your emails, and um, Doc Deuce will be sending off uh, the curriculum to you all. And then a reminder also that uh, the you can go on to Think and Haida's um, YouTube page, and these um, um, recordings will be up there if you want to. Uh, get a refresher uh, bef until the before the next class, which will be Monday. And Dr. Juice, Kulhana, how are? How are?